Hello and very warm welcome to Rap Limits. This is Swaro Hussain and today we are going to install the latest version of OHA ILS that is 20.05 on Ubuntu 20.04 with the Koha web installer and onboarding tool in a very brief manner. Last time we have installed the Koha uh, 19.11 on Ubuntu 18.04 in a detail aspect but this video is a very brief manner to let you know how to install the koha i mean this video can be used for further version of koha as well so let's start in last video we have devised a guide about to install koha let me open that so this is actually the guide and through this guide we can install koha on any word I mean any version of Koha on Ubuntu or the Debian system so let me open first of all we need to this is actually a step by step guide and there you need to open the terminal first of all so you need to press ctrl alt t or alternatively you can go to the application bar and there you can find the terminal so let me press ctrl alt t and open the terminal and then you need to write the admin uh, I mean sudo so to activate the admin mode so here we are at the admin mode after activate the admin mode you need to update and upgrade the Ubuntu system you just need to copy paste this command or you can write as it is let me write for the clarification purpose app get update and then it will update your Ubuntu system that will actually take few time and depend on the speed of your internet as well and then upgrade its sudo apt get <clears throat> so it's already upgraded after update and upgrade what you need to do is to add the koha current stable vo uh, version repository address and the source package key into Ubuntu system so you need to execute these two commands let me copy and paste one by one this is for actually for the stable version you can see for old version you need to use the old version here I mean the old stable version It has added and now command for the source package key paste here see it has ok and now once again I need to update I mean update the Ubuntu system so I'll run the same command here it's sudo apt get update now it's updating and after update the Koha I mean Ubuntu system I just need to install the Koha latest version and we need to run this command it's sudo apt install koha common so it say yes or no it's 37.3 mb yes now it's actually calling the Koha latest version. So 
okay so it has complete the installation now we need to add it the network information and we need to add one port for staff interface so let me open this Koha config site and we need to use this command it's sudo gedit gedit is actually the default editor of ubuntu or you can use any uh, other editor for example mouse pad or leaf pad or whatever you want to use gedit and then the directory name it's etc directory is folder name is actually in directory folder we have koha folder in koha folder we have this uh, uh, file it's koha dash sites dot conf configuration file and let me open this and there we need to add this port another port intra port you can see this is intra port for uh, koha opac and we need to add one intra port for the staff panel as well you can add any port i'm using 8080 then you need to save this one and exit okay not this after added the network information i'm in the port for staff client we need to install the mysql server or mariadb So I prefer MySQL. We need to just copy paste this command, and let me write this command here: sudo apt get install mysql dash server. <clears throat> so it will install the MySQL server. I have already installed the MySQL here, and then you need to configure the Apache. Apache is actually the web server for Koha. <clears throat> you need to activate this and this one. I mean this mode and this mode, and then you need to restart Apache. So let me activate both of the mode. sudo en sorry sudo a2 en mode a2 en is for activate and mode is rewrite so it's already enabled and then we need to another mode it's sudo a2 en m o d t g i and then we need to restart apache service apache 2 so it has restarted and now we are going to create the koha database or the instance So we just need to execute this command. It's sudo koha create create database and the name of the instance. So you can name any instance. I'm just instance. I mean the library. and it's already there and then we need to uh execute or configure the uh, apache port file so sudo gedit 
etc pachi 2 ports p o n f and there you need to add the port same port that you have added there goha site configuration file there you need to add this in apache configuration <clears throat> and then you need to restart apache service once again sudo service and after doing this we need to disable so we need to disable and enable few of uh, uh, apache sites i mean we need to disable apache default site and enable koha instance so let us do this sudo a to disable site and then this one sudo a to enable this mode deflect then sudo a to enable site library then we need to restart apache once again sudo service apache to re uh, uh, start okay Now you need to check the Koha master password by executing this command sudo koha dash password dash library I mean password space library. <clears throat> Let me write this command here. It's sudo koha password library. and you need to note this password and you need to save this part password somewhere let me copy here and the paste on <clears throat> you just need to copy save this file and then press enter to clear press enter to clear the screen and you have installed the koha ils and now uh, we are going to start the koha ils for the very first time and there we need to work on the web installer and then onboarding tools so you need to open your koha uh, web browser and there you need to write the local host it's a uh, and the port for the staff interface that you have created 8080 we have created that <clears throat> and it will take few time actually to load so it's loading 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 and there you need to write the password that's actually the koha underscore library i mean the username the instance name that we have created and the password so if you have saved the password you just copy the password and paste here login okay. 
and now web installer Perl uh, module missing. Okay, if you receive this error, there you need to recheck the dependencies. Maybe it has installed but not appear. So or if in case it's not installed, then you need to install the missing dependencies or missing modules of Perl. Uh, okay, let me recheck this. Okay, now as you can see, it, it, we just recheck the dependencies. It's now the, and then we need to continue to the next step. All dependencies are installed. There you can see this is web installer for database setting. We are using MySQL and the database name is library, the instance name and the host is localhost, the port and the username. Continue to the next step. Continue to the next step. And then web installer set up for database. Next step. Okay, or if suppose the dependencies are missing, I mean the Perl dependencies missing, so you need to use cpan and I'll show you a command how you can actually, in the last of this video, I'll show you her command. So you would just use the cpan and the missing dependencies or you can install the Perl dependencies bundle for Koha and it has actually available on internet. So there's a complete script. You just need to write the Koha Perl uh, bundle script or something like this on Google and it will show you the complete rest of the commands and each and everything. Okay, so database tables created and success and continue to the next step. Okay, install basic configuration setting okay. we use mark to one or you can select unimark if you want to Unimark is for European countries actually and Mark 2.1 is, is used globally around the world. Okay, so you can select actually some uh, like this. Uh, they are mandatory. I mean default Mark uh, 2.1 standard authorities. Default Mark 2.1 uh, bibliographic framework and the optional thing actually
so you can select matching rule these are optional and some mandatory and fast cataloging framework and then you can select some item type here okay this is also for framework So this is actually up to you what you select or what not. once again set up some uh, of the basic Koha requirement so congratulation installation complete and this page will redirect in 10 seconds if not click here start the onboarding uh, process so we have complete the web installer and now the onboarding tool and there we need to provide the library code for example my library code is reflims and the library name is reflims again I use the category code uh, for example staff and the description is a staff or you can actually use any other code or whatever for it. let me for example L L is for library or what you required yes and the privacy would be default You can select the enrollment period for 24 months or 12 months or whatever you want. This is just an example. After this, uh, the administrator identity for example let me write my name here card number would be any format you follow Item type, for example, BK is for book. There are actually some initial process. 
I mean, we call it onboarding tool for the very first time when we log into Koha. Then this is actually the create a new circulation rule. All libraries for all branches, patterns, all categories and item types, all. And even you can change this, for example, uh, current checkout allowed 50, or you can make it any loan period 14 days and renewal allowed 10 times and renewal period would be 14 days yes and after creating this rule you can change this actually so now start using koha And now it has done. So we have completed the installation of Koha ILS. I mean the latest version of Koha ILS that is 20.05 on Ubuntu 20.04. So now we are going to log in for the very first time and there you need to provide the Koha uh, super librarian password. I mean the admin password, not the Koha master password. So that we have created. Now we're going to log in. See, it has done. You can check about the Goha. See, this is actually the 20.05 and the latest version of Goha. So this way we have complete the installation and this is actually 20.05 the latest version and uh, you can check the rest of the thing you can check all these things and if you need this file you can contact me you can write to me or you can comment down below the this video so I'll send you this file it's quite easy and effective to install Koha thank you very much you're watching that film.